Faye here with Famous Horror. Featuring Gizmo, of course. The little brat dog ate my pants. You want a pants-eating dog? I'll send them to you. Free shipping. <laughs> Butthole. Anyway, got a bit of a haul here. Mostly movies. Just like a couple shows and a lot of movies. But I just kind of want to show because I've always seen these haul videos and people seem to like to see what other people get. So I figure out, hey, I'll show you what I got. And this is like collected up in the last couple weeks or so. Uh, I don't like to spend much money at one time. I like to spread spread the finances out. Because, yeah, I don't have a lot of money. So it takes a couple paychecks. You know. But anyway, finally found my way to Walmart because I had to see if they had the shirts that you all keep posting. The Pennywise and the Freddy. And I was like, there's no way they're going to have the shirts here in this little Walmart here in the middle of America in Kansas in a little teeny tiny town. But guess what? They do. Got both of them. And they're only seven fifty a piece. You got that classic art paint thing with the farmers in front of their barn. But it's Freddy and Jason standing in front of the bar at Crystal Lake. Guess we'll get out of my ear. So, Freddy's my dude. I had to get that. And, of course, I got the Pennywise shirt. You know? You know what I'm saying? What does it say? I didn't even read it. Are you going to say hello? Oh. Aren't you going to say hello? It's Pennywise. A little crazy. Which, God, that Penny, that new It movie has just been the talk of the town. The internet town, if you will. People are just wondering, is it going to be good, is it going to be bad, I'm going to hate it because it's not Tim Curry, I'm going to love it because it's fresh take of horror, boop 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 we'll see. And also while I was there, of course I had to go fishing through like the cheap bins, the three seventy four bins and the $5 bins, sports some stuff here, Step Brothers, I did have a copy of this but it got all scratched up and stuff because let me give you some advice, if you love your movies, if you love your Blu-rays, if you love your DVDs, don't lend them to people because they don't give a shit about your stuff. So, Step Brothers, second copy of everyone to that. And don't clown on me on this next one, but I love the movie and I figured this has got two movies in it, so why not? But I love the first one. Plucks at the heartstrings a little bit, makes me cry a little bit. And to this day, this same girl, Anna Chlumsky. Looks just like my baby mama. She reminds me a lot of my baby mama. And it is, of course, My Girl and My Girl 2. So, I think I'll watch this tonight. My girl, my girl, my girl. Talking about killer clowns from outer space. Five bucks, killer clowns. Finally own it. Yes, I know. Shame on me being a horror fan and not owning Kill Cats from Outer Space. Sorry. Next one. Just some random must-haves that I came across on the internet. First one, of course, is Rogue One. Gotta have Rogue One. And it's my first Star Wars movie on Blu-ray. So go me. Moving up in the world. Next one is a triple feature on Blu-ray that I got for ten bucks. New in the wrapper. I've already taken it out of the wrapper, but it is new, not used. And it is a triple feature of Stanley Kubrick films 2001, A Space Odyssey, A Clockwork Orange, and one of the greatest movies of all time, The Shining. Hell yeah. And what's cool is they don't put them all in one disc or whatever. We got all the individual discs. So, very cool. Groovy, awesome, shing shang, bing bang, well, we're up, ding bang. These I got at a pawn shop today before we went to Walmart. Blu ray section, all Blu rays, $3 a piece. Yeah, Blu rays, $3. So, and I want to grow my Blu ray collection, so I picked up some. Picked up four. I got Judge of the Rise of Cobra. I like, the, I like this one, the first one. Second one with the rock sucked, I thought. But this one was cool. A lot of people shit on it. I do not shit on it. This one, I, this next one, I kind of shit on. It was okay. 
But I just wanted to add it to add to my collection. It's Alien vs. Predator. You got two icons in one movie. Gotta watch that shit. And to go along with the Predator theme, we got Predator 2 with Danny Glover. Go get you, Predator. Which I don't even have the first one, so I gotta get that. And this one was a big find. $3 on Blu-ray, The Crow. Hell yeah! Brandon Lee. Many women miss you. And these last ones, last four, and I save these for last because I want to tell you that these are the ones I plan on getting signed while I'm down at the Texas Frat Mayor over the weekend. So, we're going to start off with the Scream Factory Child's Play. So, very cool. Now, this is my question to you. Do I have him sign the slip cover? Do I have him sign the inside sleeve? Yes, I know the artwork's different, because if you don't know about Scream Factory, they're actually reversible slide-ins. So, the other side looks just like the slip cover. So, you know, since the slipcover looks like that, might as well switch it out to the original release side. Yeah. So then you get two different effects. So should I have him sign the inside sleeve? Should I have him sign the, 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 this? <laughs> the, the, the sleeve, this, see, 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 no. And, uh, and if I have him sign the inside sleeve, which side? You tell me, because I don't have a fucking clue. No, I do not. And no, I do not. And neither does uh, Gizmo. Next one I'm going to sign. Oh, now I'm going to have that. I'm going to have Tom Holland sign this, by the way. The director. Fun fact. Hopefully fact. Um, the next one is another Scream Factory. It is of John Cooper's They Live. And I'm going to have... Not that man, because he did. Right, Piper, he did. He raised some peace. But I'm going to have that man, Keith David, sign this. And I'm really excited to meet Keith David. I don't know why. Just a bit. I've always... In, 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 yeah. Gargoyles. Come on, now. Uh, this next one, I'm going to have Freak sign. Now, who's going to be a TFW that like can sign Freak? Who's a part of that? Steve Johnson. The mastermind makeup special effects guy that doesn't get enough love. Steve Johnson's going to be there... His autographs are hella cheap, which is awesome, because I wanted to meet the dude anyway. And then, as I was watching this movie, I noticed special effects by Steve Johnson. So I confirmed it, double-checked, make sure it was the same Steve Johnson, because that's a common name. And it is indeed, so I'm going to take this with me to Texas Frightmare and have him sign Freaked. If you don't know Freaked, then you gotta check it out. It is slapstick crazy. Fun fact, Steve Johnson created Slimer. So, And then this last one. Taking it to Texas Fratmare week and a half signed. And it's not a horror movie, though. It is Pee-wee's Big Adventure. <laughs> I'm going to have E.G. Daly sign this one. The woman who's still looking good at 55. She played Dottie. I'm a loner, Dottie. A rebel. <laughs> I'm going to do, 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 yeah, have, him, have her sign that. So there you have it. There's a haul for you. Well, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, like 12, 13, maybe something like that. A couple t shirts. Rock on. There's my first haul video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you even watched it. Let me know below on what I should do for the, the, the autograph on the child's play, the slipcover, or what. Also, like and subscribe. I want some more subscribers just so I can talk to more of you. And you can talk to me, and we can be one big happy family. Hey! Um, that was really dumb, so I'll see you later. Late!